Hello friends, I saw this AI machine on Reddit that a couple of uh, guys and gals built and I found it super cool, especially because I love the retro futurism vibe of it and I'm a big fan of that uh, Fallout style. Let me show you what I'm talking about. By the way, my friend is still running around looking for that perfect match. I told him, use a lighter instead. So this was posted in the Stable Diffusion subreddit uh, just uh, five hours, well, six hours ago. It just went from five to six as I was looking at it by user mobile traffic 2976. Apparently there are so many mobile traffics on Reddit that you need to make it 2,976. A lot of people on Reddit, I guess. He called it the first Stable Diffusion AI photo booth. And it says, made this for my intern project with you coworkers. The machine is connected to RunPod and runs Stable Diffusion 1.5. And they built it out of an old telephone switchboard. I mean, this is, just look at this. This is amazing. Let me run you through the video. So they have there something they call the Snapatron. And I mean, the visuals and everything is just straight out of Fallout. So they have this uh, green on black retro vibe. They have an instruction here and the telephone that rings. And then let me see here. We are going to capture a photo. Please look into the camera and press the green button to capture yourself you can put the phone down and i mean if you've played fallout you recognize this instantly but probably a lot of stuff that used this in the past so here we have a selfie three two one get ready smile use this photo green yes red no let me see here plugin selection you're going to provide input for our machine Please select the category by plugging in a cable to a category. Then plug in a cable to select an item. So they have these cables from, well, it's an original switchboard. And they plug it in here. You can choose from artist, art style, and material. I would assume these would correlate to prompt. So it's connected to run pod and each time a cable gets connected, I would assume that a prompt gets activated. And here it looks like, let's see if I can find a frame that where it's readable. Here are a couple of, well, here's some artists. Here you can see Studio Ghibli with Disney Pixar up here. So here's probably the, the artists and this should be the style then. You have retro futurism, street art, vaporwave. You have oil painting, pastels, watercolor, etc. down here. Then it connects it into the art style. So we have artist and art style. And then it connects it into, let's see what we have. We had E Hopper and I didn't see uh, the last one there. That's scratch board, at least I can see that. And it's, uh, you, it's actually outputting the selection here. Your current selection artist, Edward Hopper, style and hatching art style, medium, scratch board. Yeah, so the bottom row was the medium, or it says, the, well, the, they said material, medium. Waking up machine, tip, patience is a virtue. So this is all, I'm assuming there's a computer, and obviously there's a computer inside connected to RunPod, and they have programmed this uh, interface for it. I'm just loving this. So we have the output here, which I would, it looks like an image to image with um, maybe control it, maybe not. Probably an image to image, possibly control it. And it says, thank you for participating in this trial. If you are happy with the result, please send the picture to the printer by turning the wheel clockwise. He's actually getting, as you can see now, a real photograph out of this. Thank you, images being printed. And I just love this. I think this is fantastic. Come on, come on photo, where are you? There we go. So this is uh, Polaroid, right? Snap Patron Ultra 2000 Deluxe made by Caliber. That was not just a golf clap, that was a real clap. That was, um. What you call it? A non-sarcastic golf clap. So one of those impressive golf claps. Good job. I've loved this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.
And have you seen any cool use cases of uh, stable diffusion, AI, or, or just stuff in general that's not like the regular stuff out there, a little out of the box? Well, if you do, send me a link, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll have a look at it. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, have a good one. See you in the next video.